All right, Shalom. Gonna start off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Chachadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations unto all the sincere brothers doing this work in truth and sincerity, and also peace and blessings unto the men, women, and children that believe of the hopeful elect. And the name of this lesson is going to be the simplicity in Yahweh Shah. And man, this brother wanted to get a few scriptures on this topic, and Lord willing, this be edifying to you, brothers and sisters. Because when you first come into the truth, man, your mind is like a scattered puzzle, all right? And you're trying to figure out what I need to do, okay? Or what is my lot? How do I walk, all right? How do I carry myself? And sometimes it seems confusing to you, man. But our Lord Yahweh Shai, well, I'll say Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai, it's not about confusion, man. Our Lord and Savior gave us strict commandments, all right? Gave us instructions on how to be. And these commandments are not grievous, man. These are things to help us to grow in the faith, all right? To be better individuals, man. These are simple things that the Lord commanded us to do. All right, so we just want to read a few scriptures on this topic, the Lord willing. This be edifying. So start with this scripture, brother. All right, it's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that it is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Right, and we know that the serpent today. It's Esau, man. And Esau has many devices, all right, many things to beguile you from the simplicity in your house shot. All right, these these are uh, um, a demons plaguing you, man. <laughs> got your mind all messed up thinking thinking something ain't got nothing to do with the most high, man. Stick to the simplicity that's in your house shot. The milk, the basis, man. And these are things that you should constantly remind yourself. On a daily basis, man. It's not that hard. The simplicity in Yahweh Shah. So, brother, get the book of Matthews, chapter uh, 7 and verse 12. And so, we're just going to get a few precepts, all right, uh, concerning some things that Yahweh Shah told us, man. It's uh, Matthew chapter 7 and verse 12. All right. Therefore, all things whatsoever you would. That men should do to you, do ye even so to them. Right. For this is the law and the prophets. Right. So what the Lord Yahweh Shai is saying? Treat others how you want to be treated. That's a simple commandment, man. And guess what? That will take you a long way, man. Treating others how you want to be treated, all right? That will take you a long way. That will make you a better person, man. Because... Growing up in Babylon, the great women never taught how to treat one another, man. You hear grown men calling each other bitches, niggas, and all this stuff, man. Game banging. Jake ain't got no mercy, man. No feeling for their brother. No feeling for their own people, man. Just a bunch of niggas and whores. They don't know nothing about you, how about you, how it's shot, man. But for us who have this, this understanding, we are to treat one another as we want to be treated, okay? And that's not only to your brother, that's toward them that are as well, man. Because Jake and the world will try to handle you, man. Try to treat you like a nigga, but you got to stop and say, hey, brother, hey, look, man, look, I don't get down like that, bro. I'll be respectful toward me and I'll be respectful towards you. That's a simple commandment. So do, as, do unto others as you want to be treated, okay? Of the simplicity in your house shot. Right, so you got something, brother? Now, if I could just say something oh, yeah. on the scripture, and that's uh, that's the standard of being a Hebrew Israelite. That's our culture and our heritage, which going through these different captivities, we have lost who we are as a people. Mm -hmm. But that was always a thing with our people. We was always being respectful. We was not only looking at what benefit us, but we was looking out for our brother and our sister, right. looking out for the nation, because what we do to each other affect the whole nation, right. all right? Now, coming to this truth, what you do to your brother affect the whole camp. So you got to watch out for what you do, man. Yeah. If 
you want a brother to have mercy on you, you got to show mercy to your brethren, man. Right. You got to be patient to your brethren. All right, for a brother, if you want a brother to be patient with you, all right, for example, say that a brother might have a characteristic about himself and it's not going off, but it just annoy you or right, get under your skin. You might get under that brother's skin. So you right. got to think of little things like that, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you uh, can't be a one sided man. Because in your mind, you got this this image painted in your head about this brother. And so every time this brother do something, <laughs> You get, you get, you get, you know, you uh, feel some type of way, man. For nothing, bro. Those are demons plaguing your mind, man. Yeah. Telling you stuff about a brother, and this brother ain't doing it. I'm trying to serve the Lord to the best of his ability, man. Right. But since it's not according to your mind, now you want to try to handle this man. For nothing, bro. Do unto others as you like them to do unto you, bro. If you're thinking crazy thoughts toward a brother, always a down plan a brother. Always shaking your head at a brother. Okay, let that brother treat you like that, man. Right. Then look, look. Are you gonna feel some type of way about it? Are you gonna go to counsel? Yeah, I'm 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 no no no. <laughs> Screaming and shit, bro. No, bro. No. Do unto others as you want to be treated. All right. And the brother mentioned the word mercy. Okay, get a, a look. A look six and thirty six, man. Another thing that Yahweh shot said. Luke, I think you have uh, Luke 6 and 36. Yep. It's uh, Luke chapter 6 and verse 36. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Right. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father is merciful, man. You got to show mercy to your brother, all right? Nobody is perfect in this truth. We all have flaws. We all have shortcomings. Sometimes brother going to go off and do you know, crazy, simple things, man. That, look, bro, that come with the nature, bro. We grew up in Babylon. So, brother, going to have certain flaws, man, certain things. Right? The scripture said, be long-suffering toward one another, man. Forbear one another. Be patient toward one another because we're going to be, bro, we, bro, we messed up, bro. Yeah, All right? right? Yeah. But being messed up is no excuse to stay that way. Right. You know? Got to work on yourself and do better. But if you see a brother fighting a good fight of faith, striving to the best of his ability, being a man, doing what he's supposed to be doing, but yet he got, you know what I'm saying, certain little flaws about them, he got to be patient with that brother. Because just like you want patience, just like you want somebody to be merciful towards you, all right, in judging you or examining you, do the same thing to the next brother, man. Right. Because for your house shot sake, the most high had mercy upon us, okay? That's in the scriptures, man. That's a, a Matthew 6 and 14, I believe. But you don't mind getting that scripture? Got it. Got it. Uh, unless you're holding something. Uh, no, I got your precept. Okay. So, Matthew 6 and... Is it 13? 14. 14. It's uh, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 14. Right. It says, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Right, so if you give a brother a trespass... That he did against you, then your father will forgive you. That's simply plain, man. If a brother offend you or do something against you, forgive that brother, all right? And your father in heaven, your howl, will forgive you. Right, you reading that, brother? But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. That that's easy and plain, man. Very plain. Very simple, okay? But certain guys forget those simple commandments. Certain guys forget the basic teachings of Yahweh Shah. This is what we're talking about, bro. The basic teachings of Yahweh Shah. He was telling us, have mercy. Be patient toward one another. Treat others how you want to be treated. Love your neighbor as yourself. Right? Fear the most high. Repent. Basic things, man. Yeah. It's not that hard, bro. But you got to apply yourself, man. And receive this engraft this uh engraft the word as James said, man. Right. You, 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 you want to okay. It's uh Saint Matthew twenty two and verse thirty six. It says, Master, which is the greatest commandment God. in the law? Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thine heart, and with on with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. 
this is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So Yahweh Shah was telling them, all right, those Pharisees and Sadducees, that the first, the first and greatest commandment is to be obedient to the Heavenly Father in His Word. Right. If you be obedient to the Heavenly Father, that that uh, encompasses the whole law, man. All right, and the second one is like unto it. They says, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And we know what love is according to the scriptures. Love is keeping of the commandments. So you're supposed to treat your brother according to the law. Now we ain't talking about the love that the world push. Mm -hmm. All right, that fuzzy feeling. All right, we're talking about the love of the scriptures. Showing love to your brother is also getting on your brother when he going off, man. Correction, rebuke, all right? All of that is love as well. Because the scriptures say open rebuke is better than secret love, right. all right? So loving your brother, treating him according to the scriptures, man. All right? And also being able to receive rebuke, man. Yep. Because certain guys can give out their rebuke, boy. I'm talking about like Judge Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga started... Nigga started... <laughs> Examine your way like Judd Mathis, man. Right. But uh, when it comes time, you to get it, you stiff neck, hard headed. Right. Can't take it. But you serving your house shot, right? You got the spirit of the Lord on you, right? No, man. That's the spirit of the world, all right? Not to receive rebuke, correction. That's a part of the walk, man. And, um, brother, since you mentioned the word obedient, right? Mm -hmm. Get Get the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1 and 13. First Peter 1 and 13 says the brother mentioned, mentioned the word obedience, right? It's uh first Peter chapter 1 and verse 13. It says, wherefore, first Peter 1 13, mm -hmm. it says, Where wherefore, gird up thy loins of your mind, right? Be sober and hope to the end. For the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Right. As obedient children. As obedient children. Right. Not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust and your ignorance. Right. I mean, if Peter basically is saying, look, <laughs> don't be trying to go back to that old man. Be obedient to the Lord. Obedient children, man. And you have a bunch of disobedient children. In Israel, guys doing all the wrong things, man. Doing what they want to do. No. Be obedient to what the Lord has said do, man. Right, right, keep reading there, brother. It says, but as he which had called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Right, so be holy, meaning be separate in all manner of conversation. And what make us separate from the world? These scriptures, man. Receiving this engrafted word, bro. Right? That's going to lead to our salvation and save our souls. You know what, brother? Uh, how do you feel that? Get that inside of James 1 and 21. Uh, that was it on there. All right. It says, uh, James chapter 1 and verse 21. Right. It says, Wherefore lay aside, lay apart all filthy and superfluity of naughtiness right and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul it says receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls right receive this word man it's going to save you the bible is telling you that man if you receive these words and be obedient to it it's going to save you right as paul told timothy these scriptures are going to lead to your salvation, man. And uh, uh, so many words he said in the side of, uh, I believe it's 2 Timothy, I believe. So being obedient to the Lord is going to lead to your salvation. The simplicity in your shot, right? How you carry yourself. You got some, brother? It's some more in here. Okay. It says, be ye doers of the word uh -oh. and not hearers only. Right? Be a doer of the word and not hearers only. Because it's easy to hear the word. But it's a different kind of thing when you do it, man. Okay? It's a whole different ball game, man. And you can tell when you're doing it 
And when you're not doing it, man, you know it. We got to be doers of the word, all right? Doers of what does say you how about you now? What's up? Right, you got it, brother. It's uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the whole conclusion of the of the whole matter. Right. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Right. So that's basic, simple, <laughs> right there. Hey, you don't really get no simpler than that, man. Be obedient. All right, to the uh, Heavenly Father's commandments. All right, and we have uh, uh, commandments outside the six hundred thirteen laws, man. Right. As men of the Lord, we have to what? Push this word, man. All right, we have to push that, push the word of the heavenly Father. Then, all right, once the Most High has His appointed time, then we're gonna receive salvation if we endure into the end. All right, so that's part of it too. All right, but, but, but uh, since you said that, I'll read this for you, and uh, uh, you can break it down. This is uh, Luke, right? Since the brother said, uh, "Preach the word." This is Luke, um, Luke chapter twenty-four, starting at verse forty-six. It says, "And he said unto them." Thus it is written, and thus it behoove a Mashiach to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remissions of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Mm, that's basic and simple, man. The word of repentance ought to be preached to all the Israelites, man. The scriptures say in Matthew 24, chapter, this word going to go to the four corners of the earth, and then to the end come, man. So that's our duty. All right, it's many parables of Yahweh Shah going into where it just basically preach the word, man. Do the work. All right, be obedient. Yahweh Shah said himself, his meat is to do the will of the Heavenly Father and finish it. All right, so that's our whole duty, man. We are servants of the Heavenly Father. All right, and we got to serve him. All right, if we're not, the Most High going to call us a, 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 a wicked and a slothful servant. Right. And he going to burn your ass up, man. Come, this is uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 1. I charge you therefore before the Most High and the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Hmm. We were going into that a while ago. Re rebuke, reprove, all right, with all long suffering. That's having mercy. All right. According to the what? According to the doctrine. That's the standard that we go by. That's our instructions and righteousness so we can receive the kingdom. If you don't follow the scriptures, then you're going to be destroyed. All right. If you follow the subtility of this uh, devil, right. of the serpent, all right, which beguiled Eve, which is the <laughs> same spirit that was in, uh, which the spirit that's in Esau is the same spirit that was in the, uh, in the serpent back then, man. Right. All right, and he's spewing all types of uh, beguiling words, man. Don't get trapped up by these different philosophies, these different teachings. All right, right, right. Uh, right. Uh, James speak about being. Um, James speak about keeping yourself unspotted from the world. And I read it. This is James one and twenty seven. It says, "Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this." To visit the fatherless and widows in their afflictions, and to keep himself unspotted from the world, we have to keep ourselves unspotted from the world. Now, do we have certain business and things that we have to take care of in the world? Yes, we do. Should we got to live? But what does Jane mean by this? You partaking in the activities of the world, right. club hopping, weddings, and all these things. Which I never, you know what I'm saying, uh, never wrong with going to a wedding, but you partaking in those wicked things of the world, man. That's what you're talking about, right? right? Yep. Because our Lord Yahweh Shah, he was unspot, unspotted lamb, all right? And what, what um, Yahweh Shah do, he had no sin, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So you keep yourself unspotted from the world. You don't partake in the wicked deeds of this world, man. Come on. Uh, a quick precept. Come on. It's uh, Proverbs 7 and um, Proverbs 7 and 4. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding our kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman and from the stranger which flattereth with her words. Right. All right? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to keep us away from these do different doctrines in this world, man. That's that strange woman. All right? Anything outside these scriptures is strange, all right? And these philosophies are likened to women. 
because they are enticing, right, all right? Seducing, all right? It look good, but it really, once you uh, get into these different doctrines, they don't, they have no quality to them, all right? They just look good like a, a rap prison. They have a good packaging, but once you get into these doctrines, they filthy, man. Yeah. So we be a, that's why I gotta stick with the simplicity in your house, Sean. Yeah. Do those basic things, man. All right, get a, get a, what is it? Um, second Timothy 3 and 16. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Second Timothy 3 and 16. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Right, for, for instruction in righteousness. This is what the scripture is for, man. To instruct us to righteousness, bro. And that starts with the basics in Yahweh Shah. Right, that milk man mm -hmm. always leaning on that foundation, bro. That's what it's about, man. Not now all this glitz and glamour that you see Jake out here in the, uh, Israel trying to be these super great prophets, all these things, man. These guys then forgot the basis of Yahweh Shine, man. And you can tell by their actions, man. The scripture is supposed to instruct you to do righteousness, not wickedness. But Jacob used the Bible. And, and 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 twist it to make it seem like it's right, but really this, this nigga this nigga is a damn demon, man. There's a few cats out there like that, bro. These guys are not serving your house, shot. They're serving their own bellies, as Paul yeah. said. Yeah, preacher, please. Come. On. It's Ephesians chapter four and uh fourteen that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. And carry about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. You got a lot of guys in Israel like that, man. Guys just winging the scriptures, man. They're also about winging the scriptures, bro. But they're using these smooth words. You know what? We'll get that inside of Romans 16, brother. Romans 16 started at uh, uh, 17. Mm -hmm. All these smooth words bugging Jake the hell out because Jake's simple, right? But it's the most I give y'all over to that madness. But you can't pull that on true men of your how about shot. You, you, you come with that madness you want to. We're gonna stomp that stuff out through the spirit, man. Cause we know you niggas already, bro. Seeing how you work, man. And you're going contrary to what your how shot said do. Right? So you got it, brother. It's uh Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine. Right? He said, mark them. Meaning, keep an eye on these guys, man. Who's going contrary to the doctrine. Contrary unto Yahweh Shah Mashiach our Lord. He said, watch them guys, man. Paul was a very, very fervent brother for the Lord. And the gospel, man. If you was going off on the gospel, Paul checked your ass, man. Right. Right like he did Peter. <laughs> what he do to Peter, bro? Right, the head. He checked Peter, bro. Like, hey, hold on, hold on, bro. You tripping. Our Lord Yahweh said this. Our Lord Yahweh said that you're going off, man. And this is what the apostles of the great millstone are doing right now. And the men of the Lord on down. Going at you guys next, man, because you're going off. Unity camps all in. I'm talking about just madness on top of madness, man. Niggas are doing everything, man. That's contrary to the gospel. Right, you got it, brother. It says, Mark them which cause divisions in the offenses contrary to the doctrine. Which ye have learned and avoid them. Right? And avoid them. Have no dealings with these guys, man. Because, because these guys are wicked. Right? Keep reading that, brother. God. It says, For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but their own belly. Right? These guys don't serve Yahweh Shah our Lord. These guys serve their own bellies. And when you watch them, you can tell that this, that this guy is serving his own belly, man. Right? His own desires, his own will. What well, he sees in his mind, okay, as right. You see it, man. If your eyes are open to it, if you are enlightened by your Yahweh Shah, our Lord, truly, man, you can see clean through some of these guys, bro. Right, keep reading that, brother. It says, and by good words and fair speeches, <laughs> deceive the heart of the simple. Right, by good words and fair speeches. A nigga known for being an orator, man. Right. Good words and fair speeches and 
rock, rock, rock Israel or, or stomp on their chest, washing the boots and shit. Just <laughs> Jake's something else, man. But you niggas in the world are captivated by that. Yep. And you think that they were Yahweh Shah about, bro. Yahweh Shah not about no damn glitz and glamour, man. He's about doing the will of his father. And that's the same commandment he gave unto us. It's to do the will of his father, man. Do those simple things, all right? Which are going to lead to our salvation. Okay, you got some, brother? No, that was it. Get a, a Second Peter a 1 and 5. Then. Let's get something concerning how we should, uh, you know, you know, uh, conduct ourselves and be in uh, truth, which we cover the scripture like that anyway. But I wanted to get this right here, though. Yeah, on Second Peter 1 and 5. This second, this second Peter. We know what verse started at one, cause all that good. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, started at one. This second Peter one and five. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, right. to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High. Paul, Peter, we're writing this letter to those who obtained the like precious faith, man. Those who who's of the hopeful elect, bro. This one is letter to, right? Not to all you niggas, even though that you niggas reading it. Right. <laughs> this ain't to you, man. This is to those who are of Yahweh Shah Mashiach of the Israel of the Most High, man. Right, you got it, brother. It says, To them that have obtained like precious faith with mm -hmm. us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Right. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the Most High and of Yahweh Shah, our Lord. According as his divine power had given us, had given unto us all things that pertain unto life. Right, he gave us all things that pertain unto life. And was it um, ultimately? That's your how shot, man. Through the wisdom and knowledge, bro, we get life, bro. Through our Lord Yahweh shot. He embodies all that, man. But read it again. It's a brief one right there. It said first Peter, uh, second Peter, one right. and what is that? Three. It yeah. says, according as his divine power had given to us all things that pertain unto life right. and godliness right. through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. Right. Where, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Woo! Whereby are given unto us exceeding and great promises, man. I have not seen and have not heard. What the Most High has prepared for them that love Him, man. This is what it prepared for the true men of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Those who are truly following Yahweh Shah. Praying, repenting, doing the right things the right way according to the scriptures, man. Those are those that see the great promises for. Right? It says that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Right. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Right? So, Peter said, add to your faith virtue. So, you can add things to your faith, man. He said, add virtue. Right? Virtue goes into purity. Mm -hmm. Also, it goes into having integrity, man. Honesty, right? Being upright. Being righteous. Add that to your faith. Virtue. You got it, brother. And to virtue, knowledge. And to virtue, knowledge. The, the knowledge of the scriptures, man. The knowledge of Yahweh, Bashi, Yahweh Shai. Add that to your faith. Keep reading. And to knowledge, temperance. And to knowledge, temperance. What is temperance? Self-control, right? You curbing the, 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 the wicked passions of your flesh, man. Of your lust, right? Mortifying it, man. It's hard, bro. We all deal with it, we all fight with it, man. But you gotta do it. Apply self-control to your life, man, because if you don't, it's gonna lead to a world of trouble. You got it, brother? Yeah. And to temperance, patience. And to temperance, patience, right? Patience is synonymous with the word suffering, right? Enduring. Consistency. Right, you got it, brother? And to patience, godliness. And to patience, godliness, keeping the commandments of the Lord. Right to the best of your ability. Rehearsing these righteous acts, man. These righteous, holy acts. You got it, brother. 
It says, and to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness, right? We were talking about that. Brotherly kindness, man. Showing true love to your brother, right? Uh, Peter speaking about the unfeigned love right. of the brothers, man. That's non-fake love, man. True love. Sincere love. Genuine love towards your brother. Do as unto others as you like them do unto you. You got it, brother. And to brotherly kindness, charity. And to brotherly kindness, charity, right? Charity. Love, man. Which is the bond of perfection, as Paul said in the scriptures, man. Keep reading, brother. For if these things be in you and abound. Right? He said, if these things be in you and abound, meaning increasing you, growing you, right? Keep reading. They make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Right, man. So Peter gave us some basic, simple things to do. Basic, simple things, man. Virtue. Knowledge, temperance, godliness, patience, man, okay, a brother of kindness, charity, basics and instructions of Yahweh Shah Lord. Keep reading. But he that lacketh these things is blind. But he that lacketh these things, right, those few things that Peter named, you are blind, man. You are blinded, bro. You're in a dark place if you don't have love for your brother. You're in a dark place if you don't have charity, don't have virtue, don't have no temperance in your life. You're in darkness, man. You're blind. Right. You got it, brother. Right. Basically, they don't they don't know what they are part <laughs> they of. Don't know. They, ain't, they ain't in the truth. If you ain't got the basic milk understanding, all right. right? These are the notes and bolts that keep you in the in the truth, man. Right. So you can receive salvation. It says, and cannot see. See afar off and had forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. Right. This guy forgot why he was in the truth, man. Right. <laughs> he forgot why he got called into the faith, bro. And changed one bit. Stayed in them. You come into the faith, man. Change is required, bro. The blood of Yahweh shall cover all our sins. We're new creatures in the Lord. All things are new unto us, man. Now we can live a righteous lifestyle through faith, all right? Through the mercy and grace of the Lord. Right, brother? You got it. He said, verse 10, Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Right. For if ye do these things, ye should never fall. So if you do those basic things, right? Yep. Those basic things that Peter named, Peter said, you should never fall, man. Those basic instructions, bro. All right, they'll take you a long way, man. Yep. The simplicity of your house shine. Not that hard, but you have to receive these words, man. Right? James said those, these, uh, he said, um, receive the and graft the word, right? Right, which is able to, to save, save your soul. soul, man. I love that scripture, yeah. bro. He said, receive with meekness. With meekness, yeah. right? Yeah. Right, but so keep reading that. It said, verse 11, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you. Abundantly Ooh. into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Bro, so if you do these basic things, man, right. an interest is open unto you, brother. Right. Open unto you, sister, and to the everlasting kingdom of Yahweh Shah Lord, man. Bro, bro, bro. And bro, you don't want that, bro? I want that, bro. So I'm gonna so so, so I'm gonna fight to the best of my ability. To do what does say the scriptures, man. To the saving of my soul, hopefully. D bro, bro, these, bro, these scriptures are powerful, man. All right? But these are some of the simple things that are required of us. And we can get a whole slew of scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. you know, we'll be here all day long, man. You know? But, bro, you got anything? No, that was it. Yeah, man. So, um, Lord, what lesson that we're edifying to you, brothers and sisters, man? I just want to talk about the, the uh, simplicity in Yahweh Shah. And once again, we're going to give our praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Double honors unto the apostle, that was a great millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.